guys, it's Lily Philly Pony. I'm going to be reading The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Technically, I'm doing the homework, but, but this is what you get to see. Once upon a dreary, um, midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over, over a many quaint and curious, and curious volume, volume of forgotten lore while I nodded, nearly napping. Suddenly there there came a tapping as I as of someone gently rapping and rap rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor I muttered, tapping Tapping at my chamber door, only this or and nothing more. Uh, distinctly, I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly, I wish the morrow. Vainly, I. I had sought to borrow from my books secret case of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Leonard, for the rare and rich radiant maiden whom the angels of Leonard nameless for here forevermore. In the silken, silk, silken sad a certain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that's so that now to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "Tis, tis some visitor entering, entering entrance at my chamber door." Some late visitor entering entrance at my chamber door. This it this it is this it is and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir said said I or madam truly truly your for your forgiveness I implore, but the fact, but the fact is, I was napping, and so a gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping and tapping at my chamber door. I scarce I w I was sure to hear you. Here I opened the wide door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep. Deep into that darkness, peering, long as long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the was the whispered word. None word. This I whispered, and an echo moment back, the word, "Learn." Merely, merely this, and nothing more. Back into, back into the chamber, turning all my soul within me, burning. Soon I, again, I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lengthens. Let me see, let, let me see, let me see. Then what threat it is, is and this mysterious explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mysterious explore, tis the wind and nothing more. 
open hair I flung the shutter when I when with many a flirt and a flutter in there stepped a stately raven of saintly of yore not the least of sense made he not a minute stopped or said stayed he but but with name of lord of lord or lady perched above my chamber door perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door perched and i sat and nothing more then this anim impending bird blushing my sad fancy fancy into smiling but the grave and and stern dactyl tone um, of countess it was war war though thy though thy crest should should be shorn and shaven though i said i said art sure no craven ghastly grim grim and ancient and ancient rimbering wandering from the nightly shore tell me what thy lordly name is on the is on the night quotation shore quote the raven nevermore much i marveled marveled this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly though it's the answer living meaning with little brie really swiftly bore we for we could not help agreeing that no living he being ever yet was blessed with seeing a bird above his chamber door bird bored or beast or beast upon the the sculpture bust above his chamber door with such a name as nevermore but the raven sitting lonely on on that pleased bust spoke only the, that one word as if its soul soul as, as if it's so, his soul in that one word he did outpour nothing further then he uttered, not a feathered, then he fluttered. Till I scarcely, till I scarcely more than muttered. Other, f other friends have found me before. On the morrow he, he, he will leave. Well, leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness of broken, by reply so applied, so applied, spoken, doubtlessness, doubtless, said I. What it others? Is it only stock and store caught from 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 some unhappy master whom um 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 resourceful disaster followed fast and follow faster till his songs one burning bore till the disurges of of his hope the the melancholy love 
the Mel Kami Bergen Moore of Never, Never More. But the, but the Raven still dangling sad, my sad fancy, into smiling straight. I wield the cushion, a oh, cushion, seat in front of a bird, and busk and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I be betook myself to linking fancy, fancy onto fancy. Thinking what a anonymous bird of yore. What this what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking croaking nevermore. This I sat engaging, engaged in guessing, but no, no syllable expressing to the foul foe, foe's fiery eyes now burn into my blossom's core. This, this, and more I sat divining with my head at at ease, reclaiming, inclining, reclining, on the cushions, velvet laning, that lamp, the lamp light gloated o'er, o'er, but whose velvet violet laning with, with the lamp light gloating o'er, she shall, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then men thought, men thought, me thought. The air grew denser, perfumed from an unseek censer, swung by a serpent whose footfalls ting tinkle tinkled on the tuft floor. Wrench! I I cried. Thy God hath hath lent thee by these angels he that hath sent thee respite respite and and never thee from from thy memories of Lanor Quaff, oh, quaff this, this kind, kind empathy, and forget this lost, this lost Leonard. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I. Thing of evil, prophet still, if if bird or devil, rather ten ten percent or whatever tempests tossed thee here ashore. Geeslot, yet all undaunted, on this desert land, enchanted on this home, by horror haunted. Tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there, is there, there blaming Gilda? Tell me, tell me, tell me, I implore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, I said, said I, thing of evil. Prophet, still, still, if bird or devil, by that heaven, 
heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow landing, if with within a distant ending, it shall collapse, collapse, a sin, Satan maiden, whom the angels name Renard, claps a rare, rare and rin men, whom the angels named Lenord, quote the raven, nevermore. Be that word your sign of pardoning, bird, bird or fiend, I shrunk up staring. Get thee back into tempest, tempests, and the night patrician shore. Leave no black plume as a token of of that lie. Thy thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust of above my door. Take thy break from from out of my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quote the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never floating. Still, still is sitting, still is sitting on, on the plaid bus of plies, just above my chamber door, and his eyes of all, his seeming of a demon, of a, of one, above my chamber door, and his eyes all have, have this evening of a demon that is dreaming in the lamp in the lamp light or he him streaming throws with his shadow on the floor and my soul from out of the shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore that's the end of the story. That's the end of the poem, guys. I hope you like this video. Please give it a like. Like, subscribe. Please. Please support the Lily. Lily Philly Pony Fandom. And I'll see you guys.